In the personal story segment tonight, readers of the LA Times got a rude awakening this morning by a column titled, quote, Heroism and the Language of Fascism. In it, columnist Rosa Brooks writes, Today, just showing up at your army recruiting station makes you an instant hero, and getting yourself hurt or killed doubles your heroism, even if you were sound asleep when your supply convoy went over an IED. Rosa Brooks declined our invitation to be on The Factor tonight, but Mark Lamont Hill joins us from Philadelphia. Professor, thank you for your courage. Always a pleasure. I'm a hero, in fact. <laughs> yeah, that makes you a hero. You're a hero. Yeah. Um, maybe look, Rosa will think I'm a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe she's your new, uh, he, he, you're her new hero. You know, I, I, I think it's very unfortunate that she couldn't come on and defend her own words and she has to hide behind you to do it. Um, and the first thing, unfortunately, I would have told her is that in some sense, I agree with her. Um, I've written many columns myself decrying uh, what, I th what I think is the, the, the lessening or the dumbing down of, of what we consider heroism. After September 11th, we had a lot of media people patting themselves on the back uh, for running around uh, in the streets. You had Dan Rather and people like Ashley Banfield being called heroes for doing what? for, you know, reporting, which they should have been doing, that's their job, and, and uh, not doing anything near, near as, as, hero uh, as heroic as uh, the 9-11 firefighters. However, um, I know you read her piece, and what really bothered me about it was her sneering that somehow calling Pat Tillman uh, uh, was, was, uh, was devaluing the definition of heroism. Do you agree with that? Well, I'm, I'm not, I think, I think it's important to think about her comments in context. I mean, the whole point here wasn't about Pat, Pat Tillman per se, but about the larger conversation we're having about heroism. I, I think Pat Tillman is a hero. I think Pat Tillman was quite brave. I think anyone who goes to war is quite brave, and I think Rosa Brooks would agree with that. But the issue here is, are we willing to call everybody a hero, and what's at stake if we call everybody a hero? Well, this let isn't me just a linguistic game here. Professor, uh, talk about linguistic games. Let me read exactly what she said. The empty rhetoric of heroism is everywhere these days. You know what I mean. Pat Tillman, the former NFL star, is an American hero, apparently because he volunteered for duty along with several hundred thousand other people, then had the misfortune to be accidentally shot by his own side. I find that incredibly offensive. The reason why this man was a hero is because he made a very extraordinary choice. He left a very lucrative career at the top of his game at the NFL to put his country first and put his duty first. If that isn't the dictionary definition of heroism, I don't know what is, Professor. Right, but that's why I said I admire his bravery, I admire his character, and I happen to think that he's a hero for that decision. But I, and, and so I don't necessarily agree with Rosa on that, on that particular point, but I think her bigger point is absolutely correct, and that is we attach the label of hero to everybody, and as a consequence of that, we, we don't, we're not able to fully recognize the true heroism. There's a difference between running into a burning building as a firefighter and going out and getting donuts for people. I mean, it's just a whole different sure. type of project, and we need to make that distinction. I don't know if Pat Tillman is the best example of that. And I, no, my heart it's goes not, which is family. why her... But, but, they, I mean, but, let's, not, but let's not ignore her bigger point. But let's not ignore her bigger point, which is we throw the label Harold too, too much, and there are enormous consequences for such a choice. But her, her, her bigger point, Professor, rests specifically on this anti-military animus, because she pays lip service and she says, yeah, it's not soldiers are here. Yes, it it's is. Not, it's not anti-military. It absolutely is, because well, Michelle, she didn't Michelle, write Michelle. this column, M Professor, she did not write this column complaining when, for example, Cindy Sheehan was being lavished as, with praise as a hero for doing what? I mean, here she says that you shouldn't simply be called a hero for service or sacrifice, but she never, right. and she gave she never complained examples. about that on the left. She gave multiple it's only examples. She didn't just soldiers mention, that she, she didn't just, No, 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 no. She didn't. That's not. She did not just mention soldiers. She also mentioned firefighters, police. She mentioned any person who's engaged in civil service, and she used that language specifically. So she wasn't just singing out the military. And she's clearly not anti-military. She said her heart goes out to the military. She supports the military. She admires the bravery and the courage yes, of anyone who's willing to put their, themselves on the line. It wasn't grudgingly at all. You're adding that. That's spin. This is a no-spin zone. She clearly well, said that this is. She clearly said that she supports this. And finally, her bigger point was also about fascism. She made a point here that by we can become so inebriated in the rhetoric of, of, of fascism, of, uh, excuse me, of heroism, that we can't critique soldiers. We love the soldiers. We hate the war. But mm -hmm. somewhere along the line, people start to say that if you critique soldiers for going into the war, we're not respecting the troops. We're not loving our country. Even the well, Democrats are falling victim to that. I'm, I'm going to engage in fascism right now, and I want every <laughs> soldier, every troop to know, overseas, here at home, no matter what, that I consider you heroes, and I'm going to teach my children that you're heroes, too. Professor, thank you. My pleasure.